obviously a tough stretch. Um, you know, struggled a little bit there again offensively, uh, and then we struggled defensively tonight. Um, but I um, appreciate the effort of some of our guys. I, I thought our younger guys did a good job and, and really got us back in the game, and, and we had some opportunities there down the stretch. But um, just just couldn't couldn't quite capitalize on those. But um, just got to get better. Three point shooting, just forty one total in the game. Is that what you wanted to do going into the game? Just well, a, a lot of it depends on who we elected to go with and play, and um, you know we went with a smaller lineup. And um, obviously, we wanted to try to space the floor as much as possible. Um, we need to get paint touches for kickout threes is what we need. And uh, the, the best way to do that for us is to play small ball. We can try to get downhill. Um, but I, I did not want um, you know, the amount of threes to be off of not touching the paint, right? If we shoot 40 off of paint touches, then yeah, we shoot 40 off of paint touches. And so uh, it, for some of our guys, it's the best shot. Be, be, because um, whether they can't get to the rim versus the defense. Uh, but, but what we can't do is continue to shoot those mid-range shots. And we, what we can't do is continue to miss those layups we miss. And we can't continue to get fouled and go to free throw line and miss them. And so if, if you get an open look and you're a guy that can make one, you, you probably got to take it. Yeah, you got some of those uh, free throws down the stretch. Had some, some key misses there. Yeah, we, we've, we've uh, missed them all year. Uh, thus far through 10 and um, uh, you know some of our our bigger guys they struggle at the line which I think that's a, a universal issue for basketball players um, but tonight I felt like you know we played lineups where we should we should have been better from the free throw line and um, you know we're on two different ends of the world I think last year's team was almost the leader in the country and then this year's team is at the bottom and um, you know, there's a guy that I I, I, um, I read a quote one time, if you can't make layups and free throws, nothing else matters. And that's very true. And, and that's, that's kind of where we're struggling right now. So um, we just got to keep working at it. Coach, I know for you it's all about who finishes as opposed to who starts. The chance to get a chance to start tonight, 23 points, yeah. and, uh, really gave you a spark early on. He's a great offensive player. And uh, when given, you know, the opportunity, he's going to score. He he scored a lot in his allotted time that he's that he's gotten. Um, got to get better. Some other areas, you know, but um, you know we're struggling to score. So, you know, I think as a coach, you, you got to play your best scores if that's what you're struggling to do. And so, uh, he'll continue to get his opportunities, and um, so will other guys that we feel like can can help us score. It. Why do you think you've been struggling to score over this specific stretch? I know one game you say it's creating for others. And, yeah. uh, tonight, uh, just not hitting, hitting some threes. Guys say confidence has been lacking. Just what do you see over this stretch? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's a, it's a make-miss game, right? But we have to create shots for other people. I mean, that's how you get good looks. And, and to be able to break down the defense and get paint touches, get the ball side, top side, inside out, uh, is, is how you want to do it. Uh, but, but there are a lot of issues. Like, for example, we're not running in transition. You know, we're not getting out running in transition like we have been. Um, uh, the ball the ball's sticking. Uh, guys are dribbling the ball as opposed to passing the ball. Um, um, you know, we, we – Sometimes when you're open, you, I mean, you got to step up and make it when you're open, and, and you know, um, and then finishing around the rim strong, and and you know, executing, waiting on your screens, and hitting people when they're on time, on target, when they're. I mean, they're, I can go on and on and on, uh, but but ultimately, uh, when we get the ball around the rim, we need to finish it, and we we've got to go to free throw line and make them. I mean, that's a that's a big part of being a good offensive team, um, and, and moving the ball and and. Um, you know, taking what the defense gives you. Yep. When you go small defensively, are you going to need to force things more and you know, kind of speed things up on that end? Sure. Well, we 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 probably will, uh, but 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 this group, you know, they're one of the top three point shooting teams in the country, and and we just didn't feel like giving up those good looks from three 
were, were, were going to keep us in the game. And, and uh, but, but yeah, we'll have to do a little bit more pressing. And we started the game in a press, and, and we just we, we couldn't we, we we just weren't very effective in it. They were getting they were outnumbered us in the back, and they were getting good looks and, and a couple layups, and our matchups were were really screwed. That's what ends up happening when you press is you, you can't get who you want on certain people. So, but. Um, we we will be smaller inside, but we'll be bigger on the perimeter with James and Chance and guys like that. Seems like offensively with a small lineup, Donovan is kind of stuck where he maybe needs to play inside more than he's used to. Is that fair Well, I mean, he definitely we definitely need a presence down there, and and, and the ball needs to go in there, whether it's a, a A catch or B catch, so we can cut and play off of it. And um, you know, ultimately, I've I've got to get everyone's heart in the right place to to get in the right place physically. And, and, and get some of that. And, um, but, but yeah, we definitely need more of those touches uh, uh, around the basket. And, and that doesn't mean that, that they have to score it. But, but a lot of times it just makes the defense, uh, you know, kind of suck in a little bit and you can get a good look. So, um, yeah, we'll have, to get, we'll have to get some of that done for sure. The guys talk about still trying to learn how to play with each other. You know, Ten games in, uh, new ro- completely new roster, guys playing together for the first time. Had all summer, but are you still seeing that through, through these first few weeks? First no, nah, I mean we. I mean uh, the the playing together. I mean that's that's just the kids are talking. That's just kids talking, playing together. But but no, I'm, I mean if you're asking me if that's one of the issues, no, not 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 according to me. Because I'm a grown man, that's a that's a head coach, and, and I know the issues, and and playing together after all those practices and ten games, that that that, that that's not the issue. It's, it looks a lot different from um, Middle Tennessee. You guys had that first game without Matthew, and it was one of the better performances we've seen in a while. Just complete all around offense and defense, mm-hmm. and then you go on the trip and just kind of turned into a little bit of what we're seeing now. But what changed? Well, I mean, you know, every season is a journey. And um, every day, we as coaches have to make sure that our guys are mentally equipped to, to be um, in the right frame of mind. And, and um, it can take any little thing when you're dealing with 18 to 22 year olds to, to shake that. And, and um, I just feel like it could be something different for each guy. But as the season goes on, there's so many issues. So I can't, you know, come up here and name them all. But what we need to do is prioritize our priorities as a group. And then we will, because it's never going to be perfect for everybody, right? But um, I just think that our group right now, um, you know, like, for example, one of the big, biggest issues is, you know, I've elected to really play a lot of guys. So, so some guys may not be comfortable. You know, that's a legit concern. But, 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 but we're doing that to, to, to see who we have. We're doing that to figure out, you know, who's going to be our best come January, February, whatever. But, but that may be hard for someone to play well through that, you know. And so it, it's just a journey. So it can, but it can be a million different things. But, but, but you know, um, we'll just have to, you know, get, get back to it tomorrow. Um, and that's the – it's really the – the beauty of what we do as coaches, you know, is, is try to figure out uh, what's the best way to maximize what you have and, and do it at the right time. You know, it's it's the challenge of being a leader. And, and that's ultimately where, you know, where we are right now. And, you know, you could do it and you could you could look great for two weeks and then something else happens. I mean, it's just, you know, but it's a journey. So we but 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 we have some work to do. And um, one of the things I do like about our group is they don't make excuses. You know, but, um, you know, as Bruce Weber would tell me, uh, if nothing changes, nothing ever changes. So something's got to change. How about your you missing Mogbo, and do you expect him back soon? You know, Mogbo's got a growing issue that we're trying to get 100% healed for league play. And that doesn't mean that he won't play until the end, but it's got to be out of pure necessity. And um, I think I think we probably miss his defense and rebounding, for sure. Um, but but again, that goes back to one of the things I was saying. You know, we played nine guys tonight, I think. And uh, you know, if you if you add another guy, now you're now it's ten guys, and that's you know that's hard to do. But um, when he's healthy enough to play 
extended time, I think we'll bring him back. Like right now, he could play, you know, four minutes, and then he's probably going to be done because once he gets cold, he can't get it back to, you know, whatever the case is, whatever the diagnosis. It's a growing injury is all I know. But we'll, we'll look to get him back out there soon. One back. Uh, so yep. This this marks three straight that you guys lose. Yeah. What do you got to do the, kind of the next week going to Oral Roberts to kind of turn this around a little bit? Yeah, you know, the, the number one thing is we got to keep things in perspective, right? Uh, it, it's like I told the group, um, this is no fun. But it's not the worst thing that's ever happened to us in our lives, right? But it's no fun. And, um, you know, we've got to use this week to finish the semester strong academically because if you're ineligible, you can't play. Once we get that done, we, we've got to get back out on the practice floor. We've got to get in the video room. And um, we, we've got to continue to dig in, you know, and, and figure out, um, you know, what's best for us moving forward. And, you know, our guys have to be fresh mentally, physically, emotionally uh, in order to get better at doing anything. But um, in regards to an X and O standpoint, as coaches, we have to continue to evaluate film and figure out what it is this group does best in order to win. And, and that could be something different than what we've done these first 10 games. I mean, you just, you know, each day you're just trying to build it, build it, build it. But um, if our hearts aren't in the right place, and, and not to say that any of our guys' heart is purposely in the wrong place, but, but it's just life, you know, then, then we're kind of going to struggle a little bit. But what I, like I said, you know, um, we don't have bad kids. I mean, we got good, good dudes, and, and um, that's a really good start. And, and I even thought the group, although it was a lot of freshmen out there, we were down 10, and, you know, they brought us back, you know, just like that. And, and that's, that's maybe something we can continue to build on. But um, what we have to do is put things in perspective and, and, and accept the fact that it's no fun. But, um, you know, someone sent me a, a text um, you know, one man's nightmare is another man's dream. And, uh, you know, for me, going on three is, is not a dream, but there are a lot of people who dream of being a Division One head coach. And so, you know, we got to keep things in perspective and continue to get better. All right, Coach. Thank